Good morning, everyone. Uh, you're very welcome to another live PE session. Uh, my name is Peter Casey from Clare GA, and uh, I think this is going to be our last morning uh, or the last week of the hurry sessions. Michal Duffy is going to be on again on uh, Thursday morning, and uh, the great news is that everybody is heading back to school next week. So uh, things are looking better. Things are looking better. Um, we're getting closer, I suppose, to getting back to what uh, what they call normal life. Uh, I'm sure your grandparents have got their vaccine at the moment. So uh, we have to hang in there for another few weeks uh, until uh, more and more things will start to open up. And hopefully then, by the 5th of April, we all be going back to our clubs and we'll be able to train. And by the time May comes, we'll be all hoping that there'll be matches starting again. So. Uh, so we've children on this morning, I, I, I'm sure from uh, to six class, maybe just some young children in, uh, on, on as well. So what do we need this morning? We need our five cones of one, two, three, four, five. Five little markers, five socks or five uh, shoes, something like that that you can put on, okay? Some kind of a softball uh, that's not going to cause much damage, a tennis ball or something like that, uh, a hurley. Use a hurley again if you can use a, a light hurley that would be great or a sharp hurley that would be great. It doesn't need to be very long. It doesn't need to be very big. And a bean bag uh, or a, a pair of socks that are that are um, rolling up. If that's okay. I'm sorry, there's a bit of a glare this morning. Now the sun is coming in the back window, uh, so I try and stand in the way of it as much as possible. If I can. okay, put down my five cones first of all. One. Two, three, four, and five. Okay. The other thing you'll need is you need to you need to have a bottle of water. So just have that beside you as well. And we get set up. And there's no hurry, we get lots done this morning. Okay, so we start off with a little warm-up, but just just jogging on the spot, just up and down like that. Jogging on the spot. Hold your hurley in your righting hand, your hurley hand. Hold the hurley there like that. Jogging up and down. Well, okay, good stuff. We we'll kick out our legs. We we'll kick out our legs. Good stuff. Now we'll go again. Now we're going to lift the knees a little bit higher this time. Okay, stop. And we we'll kick out the legs again. And we'll do one more go. We're going to count to 20, 20 high knees as we're moving along. So three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight, twenty. Good stuff. Kick out your legs again. Okay, good stuff. So we're going to do that again. So really try to get your knees up to 90 degrees. Knees up to 90 degrees, which is the right angle. And uh, that helps to develop your hip, to, get your, to make your hip joint more mobile. So off we go again. Three, two, one, go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Lovely stuff. Okay. We'll put the hurley up in front of us. A little bit, maybe just move that so it's not as glaring there for the moment. Okay, we'll see how that works. Like that. Hurley down in front of you like that. And we we'll jump over the hurley and we'll jump back. Okay, so I call the instructions. We're trying not to hit the hurley now at all. Okay, so it's just Okay, jump forward, jump back, jump forward, jump back, jump forward, jump back. Okay, we go again. Jump forward, jump back, jump forward, jump. So nice sticking on the landing. Now just need time on it a second. When we land, we try and stick on the ground. And we try and get the balls of our feet to land. So our heels are off the ground. And we're really bending our knees and we're bending our hips. Okay. Jump back. Jump forward. Jump back. 
And I'm using my hands to help me jump forward. Jump forward. Jump back. Jump forward. Jump back. So we face the side now. Okay. Jump forward. Jump back. Jump over. Jump back. Jump over. Jump back. Jump over. Jump back. Jump over. Jump back. Good job. Keep going for next. Like that. Good job. Okay. Next job. One foot in front. One foot behind. And we finish our feet. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay. We go again. Scissors your feet. One foot in front. One foot behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lovely. So having lively feet for hurling is really important. And just those few exercises, anytime you do them, that's a really good thing to do. Okay. Just going to wiggle our hurley up and down. So catch the hurley in your hurley hand, your right hand like that, and wiggle up and down like that. Nice straight arm, nice straight arm. So you see now my wrist is moving and if I just look at my hand, my arm doesn't move, my hand is going up and down, my wrist is moving it, and that's really important for hurling. So wiggle your hurling. Next one we'll do is what's called the waggle. So we're gonna play down this straight ahead, it's 12 o'clock, out to the side is three o'clock, out to the other side is nine o'clock. Three, 12, 9. 3, 12, 9. Now maybe we get to bring it to 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock, 12 o'clock, maybe 8 o'clock. 8. 4, 8. 4, 8. 4, 8. Now if your heart is very heavy, hold your arm with your catching hand. And just wiggle it over and back like that. If you would touch your, hold it in front of your tummy, your belly button, Touch your left leg, bring it, can you touch your right leg? I can't, I'm just away from my right leg goes. Left leg, okay, so the left leg is easier than the right leg at the moment for me. Okay, bring it over and back. And again, that's your weekly the heart to get your wrist, make your wrist flexible. At this time, when we're not going to feel it, there's things we can really do to help us with our hurting. Okay. So another wrist exercise which we'll do at the moment is this one here. So here is 12 o'clock now, 9 o'clock, and 3 o'clock. 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Can I go to 8 o'clock? Can I go to 4 o'clock? So up and down, I'm holding my arm with my other hand just to make it easier. Okay, up and down like that. Up and down like that. You don't have to kneel down now, I'm just doing it so you can see me better. Up and down. Good stuff. Getting your wrist working. Okay, next one we we'll do is our we we'll do a full circle. A full circle. Again, hold your elbow with your catching hand. So you go clockwise first of all. Hold your elbow. Now we go anti-clockwise. Hold your elbow. Now you might feel your wrist a bit sore, so shake it out there like that. Okay, good stuff. Next one, we're going to do our C-shaped swing. So if, our, so if you're right-handed, okay, your right hand will go in front of your right shoulder, and your hurley will stand in front. So like you're uh, a soldier in the army, you think, uh, you're talking to your superior, and you're saying, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so the hurley is across your eyes like this, and now you do a C-shaped swing. One, two, three, Four, five. Now, sometimes when people do this, they think we're doing, you know the big things that are up at the top of the hill, the windmills, the wind turbines, they think they're doing windmilling and they do things like this. And we're not interested in windmilling, we're just interested in doing a C-shaped swing. So my hand finishes up opposite my left shoulder. Left-handed people, left hand opposite your left shoulder, and it finishes up to your right. So we go together for 10. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Now, again, if you have a heavy hurry, you're going to find that very difficult. Shake out your wrist. Okay? And if you, you might only have to do four or five. So we go for three this time. One, two, three. And of course, be careful. I hit the ground there now, but just be careful with your uh, with, 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 with what you're doing. Okay, great stuff. Now, what do we do with our feet now when we're striking? What do we do with our feet? So I'm up again my feet. So because I'm right handed, the hurley always stays in my right hand. Okay? And the foot that's closest to the target goes in front. So because I want to hit the ball over here, over this way, this foot, my left foot goes in front. So I want to just get in, into the habit of transferring the weight forward and back. So look at this. I'm just sliding forward, sliding back. So as I'm swinging my hurley now, I'm staying back and then I go forward. And I finish up like that. What? Just very gently now. Swing maybe at about 10% of your full speed. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now I've worked for two hands in a hurry loop. So bending down low is really good. If you ever watch TJ Reeves when he's hit the penalty, or hitting a free, he gets down in this position. Okay, so down here, one, two, three, four, five. I think that's a really good exercise for people to do a few times a week before they go striking the ball. Get your swing right first of all, and then go hitting the ball. And if you want to do it on your other side, let's try the other side now, okay? So again, I'm going my knees a minute. This is more difficult now. So if I'm right-handed, my right hand goes to my left shoulder. If I'm left-handed, my left hand goes to my right shoulder. And that's my swing. So again, it's across my body. One, two, three. I hit the ground again. Four, five. Okay? Or this could be if I'm left-handed. One. Two, three. Okay, I stop now before I break the house. Right, so good stuff. And again, I have to get my feet. So this time I'm hitting the ball this way. So my right foot is in front and my left foot is back, kneeling down. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe my two hands if I want. One, two. Three, four, five, and there's a lovely swish. This is the swish of my swing. It's a lovely swish. Okay, so maybe you can make that. And again, I think if you were to do that, imagine when you go back to the, to the pitch that you'd have a lovely swing. Okay, and if you have a lovely swing, then you could be a lovely striker of a ball. And normally people who hit frees or sidelines in the team or penalties, they're the people with really good swings. So if you could have a really good swing, that, that would be great, okay? Lovely stuff. Okay, so we're going to go back now. We did, we did it before our feet at the start. Then we're working on our hands, and now we're back in our footwork again, because it's very important that we try and develop our fast feet for our uh, agility, okay? So here I go. Actually, I want to change the code down this bit, because of that layer coming in the back window, and I don't want to blind anybody. If, if you don't have the room for four, five cones, just use four cones or three cones or three shoes or something like that. So I'll start off with my footwork, my agility. Zigzagging. Zigzagging. On the way out. And on the way back. One, two, three, four, five. I know now I might be repeating myself. Okay, but I think that sometimes we do the same things every day for a little while. To get, to get what's known as the fundamentals. So these are the fundamentals, the fundamental movement skills of diagonal zigzag running or dodging. As I go right, my right foot leads and my left foot follows, and then I change my feet. Left foot leads, right foot follows. Right foot leads, left foot follows. Left foot leads, right foot follows. Right foot leads, okay, right foot leads. Left foot leads, right leg follows. Okay, 
and that. Okay, and then after COVID, and that will happen sometimes. So, everybody go there again. Everybody go there again. Good stuff. Go in. I have tea and I have water this morning. So off I go. Okay, weeding my heart leg as I'm doing it, which is a, a coordination skill. Bending my knees, get bending my hips, lively on my feet, so I can go, I can be, I, I miss a push right or I miss a push left. Okay, off I go. Okay, good stuff. Shake out my legs. Now, you're going to go two more times there yourselves. And I'm just thinking, we'll see how that layer is. Lovely stuff. There's 21 people on at the moment, which is great. Brilliant. If that's 21 children all doing their exercises, I'm, I'm delighted. So off you go. And I have four thumbs up. That's not too bad. Good stuff. Right foot leaves, left foot follows. Left foot leaves, right foot follows. Off you go again there. Now again, we'll do a little change. At color number two, at color number four, we're going to go all the way around the world. Okay, let's try and get our footwork all around the color. So watch how we go. At color number two, all around. This is the same At color four, all around. Okay, and I can just work back. Like that. So I'll do it one more time. Color one, color two, all the way around the color. Three, color four, all the way around the color. Color five, and stop. And back there again. And we'll kick out your legs. Good stuff. Okay. Great work. Now, next one. We we'll do a little bit of high jumping. Okay? First of all, we we'll just jump. All the colors down in the face, and as we get good, then we jump a little bit higher. So, the first one I do two, three, four, five. You can do it back now as well if you want, or you can run back. I'm just going to do it on the way up today. So, five, get your rest, kick out your legs. I never mentioned water yet, so get your drink of water there. Very important to hydrate. Sometimes at the start of exercise, you might feel like you know you're a little tired, or especially early in the morning. But water helps for you, and today you're probably feeling a while like you could do this all the time. Because it's, you, you could do this for the whole day. So I'm going now. My job is to jump a little bit higher this time. So I'm going to try and bring my knee, my heels up close to my bottom when I'm jumping. Okay. And I'm back again. Good stuff. Keep going to your legs. Okay. Off you go again. One, two, three, four, five. And run back. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Well done. Great stuff. I'm going to go again now. This time, let's go. Keep my body really tall, really upright. Because one of the main reasons for jumping is to be able to, to reach up higher, probably catch a ball. Okay? So some people jump downwards a bit like this, watch. They don't stand up tall. What, we're what I want to do is keep my body very tall and get my, my heels to my bottom and my knees into my belly. So I, I could have more to here. Oh, that feels great. So I'm trying to get your knees to your bottom and your knees to your belly. Okay, ready to go again? Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five. Super soft. Great, we're doing brilliantly. Well done. Now, we're going to get our ball in. Well, we start with our bean bag first of all. And we're going to go back to our zigzagging again. Bean bag in, so how we do is going through the lane, soloing the bean bag or soloing the top as we go out and we go back. Start off slowly, 
And then once you get the hang of it, you can go on and sit back. Okay, so everybody again, just check it now. It's going to sit the thumb, the thumb in the hurry, nice and short like that. So around that, that, that distance of the hurley. Halfway down your hurley, where the hurley is perfectly balanced. Okay? Being back on the hurley like that. A nice straight arm. So that's very, very important here at the moment. So trying that, okay? Okay, we just have one go maybe, but we're not zigzagging. We just go down one side of the, 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 the colours and back to the other side. Back to the other side. Okay, when you get that, go again. Down one side, okay, and back to the other side. If we learn want to learn how to turn both ways, we go down the second side now. So this time I go down on the left side, down, turn around, I'm gonna drop the bean bag, and back. Okay, so most of us have a favorite way of turning. So this is my favorite way of turning this way here. Okay, but if I don't like this way, I need to get good at this way of turning. So now, here I go, out, down, and back. Good stuff. Now, as you're going now this time, try and do a catch in between. So watch what my hurley does. This wrist work that we're doing at the start again, look. Try to do that. So I'm just, that's my skill. That, that's a real, see my wrist? How it does it. And it turns the hurley over. That's really good enough for first touch and skills like that. Protection skills, being able to turn the hurley this way. Okay, I still see 20 people with us. Which is brilliant. 20 people, great stuff. Okay, off we go again. Turn out there, run out, turn, catch it, run back. Okay, I go from the other side. Run out to the end, turn, catch it, and run back. Okay, so we get used to holding the beanbag in our hand while we're taking steps. Uh, I was looking at a uh, research from the hurling finance from a man called Damien Young in uh, in the rag. He covers Drummond Inch in City Prairie. And Damien Young says, the skill that performs most in any match now is steps. That's when I have the ball in my hand, the hurling in my hand, the hurling in my hurling hand, the ball in my catching hand, and I'm running more than two steps. So you're allowed to take four steps. And uh, being able to take those well is really good. So here I go again now. Run out, bean bag in my hand, turn back, run back. Okay, go from the other side. Run out with the bean bag in my hurley, put it in my hand, turn around, run back. Good stuff. I go again. Okay, on the right hand side. Out, run back. Okay, we go from the other side. Out, turn around, run back. Okay, good work. We're just going to do it another way now this time. This time I'm going to run out with the beanbag in my hand. Because that's not a good thing to do. That's not a good decision to make. When you get the ball in your hand, take your steps first. Then put the ball on your hurley. Then take it in your hand. Then take your steps again. And then do something which is like strike with your hand pass. So off I go again now. Run out with it in my hand. Turn around, put it on my hurley, put it in my hand. Try to the other side, run out, put it in my hand, turn around, put it on my hurley, put it on my hand. Now, boys and girls, you have to do that fast now, so go yourself and now see how you get on with that. Run out, put the beanbag in your hurley, sorry, in your hand, turn around, put it on your hurley, run back and catch it. Good job, lovely. Okay, now we'll try our zigzagging again now. Okay. So, first of all, I'm zigzagging. I'm going to try and keep it for the first two colors in my hand. Off I go. In my hurley for the next three. Okay, good stuff. On the way back, in my hand. On the hurley. And back in the hand. So we'll try it again now. First two steps in the hand. Next two colors, three colors, on the hurdle. Okay, and on the way back. First two colors in the hand. Next three, on the hurdle. Okay, good stuff. Okay, 
Get a drink of water and help yourself again. Doing great. I'm enjoying this now. But I was back coaching that Wednesday and the girls got in it. And uh, you can't be fit to face coaching. So I'm really looking forward to going to the schools uh, after Easter and meeting boys and girls there and we're, we're, we're all playing together. But we've done very, very well during this lockdown period since Christmas with these sessions and uh, with all the clips that I'm getting. So again, if you want to send me any clips or any videos or photographs of you doing it, send it to Ash Hurling Coach on Twitter. Okay, good job. Right. Next one we do. I'm going to pick up my cones now because I don't need them for the moment. Pick up my cones. I'm finished with those and I've a little bit more space. Okay, so this is a nice little scale now. What I'm doing is I'm rolling the ball, I'm passing it out, and I'm going to try and let it roll up along my hurley for a first touch. So what? Run out, and that's it. I can do it with one hand or two hands. I don't know if you can see me well there. I might try and go across this way. So I'll roll the ball, run past it, and take this hand like that. Okay, I'll do it from different angles so you can see me, and you have a go yourself. Roll it, pass it out, let it run up along the hardly. Okay, roll it, pass it out. Let it run up along the hurley. This is the angle of my hurley here like this. Okay, so the angle is very important. So with the ground, it's a, a, an acute angle. Maybe about 25 degrees. It can't be flat, because the ball will go too fast. It can't be like a right angle, because that will only stop the ball. So I go again. Roll the ball. Pass it out. Let it run up along the hurley. Run back. Roll the ball. Tap it out. Let's run up along the hurry. Again, I can do it with two hands. I'll try two hands now. Roll the ball. Tap it out. Let's run up along the hurry. Roll the ball. Tap it out. Let's run up along the hurry. Okay, try that now again. Roll the ball. Tap it out. Let's run up along the hurry. Good stuff. Sometimes the ball might be going too fast. So let's pretend now you're playing a match and you don't want to try to pass it out. You're going to reach out and stop it because that's the sideline there. And you're stopping, you know, the sideline and then you're going to go down and you're going to do your roll rise. So for the roll rise, the thumbs are like this. Okay. My catching hand down close to the box where I'm going to catch the ball early. Okay. My hurley hand like this. Okay. And the, 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 the nose of the hurry points out from the tummy like that. So here I go again now. Run on. Roll the ball. Stop it like that. Reach out. Stop it. Reach out. Stop the ball. Out. Roll right and run back. If you can't see the ball now as I'm doing it. I go again, out, stop the ball, get my left foot because my right hand's up inside the ball, down, roll right, and run back like that. Okay, have another go at that. Run out, stop the ball, foot out, roll right, run back like that. Okay, good work. Good work. Just as we're, we just do one little thing again for wrist work. On the roll rise. This is just if you're very good at doing the roll rise now, or even the jab lift, this is a skill that you can do with your wrist to give you protection for straight afterwards. What should I do? So rise it, take the ball, and my hurley comes here like this. So watch what my hurley does, rise it, and then here I am like this. I bring the ball, now watch how I bring the ball with my wrist back into my hand. I go very slowly. So it's all in one movement. This hand turns the hurley back in towards me, and that brings the ball close to me. So we go for five together of those, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, a couple of things. Knees bent, hips bent, 
knockers thicken the ground. So watch, knees bent, hips bent, my knockers thicken the ground. One, two, three, four, five. So there's lots of people on Twitter and on social media trying to see how many you can get in 30 seconds and that's a very good competition. But the first one is to be able to do one road ride very well. So no can think of the ground. One, two, three, four, five. Good work. Okay. More water, I think it's called. Lovely stuff. Now, next job we're going to do is we're going to do this one. And again for our wrist work. Today is all about wrist work. Really, when it comes to our hands and footwork for our agility and our jumping stuff. So, I do this on my knees now. Okay, my wrist work is moving the hurry down. Catching it like this. Now you might be standing up. Oh, oh my goodness, I nearly broke the china, the china cups. I'll be very careful. Right, I stand up. Here I go again now. I might dance around this with not my feet. So getting handy with your hurdy involved takes a long time and it takes a lot of tapping and tipping and all these things that we're doing here. They look like tricks, but they're really very important skills. Like if you watch Keen Lynch when he plays for Limerick, he's constantly, now he's left handed, he's constantly in the hurry in that kind of a position. Other people have hardly dragged behind him like this. They can never be like Keen Lynch. Okay, and then his footwork is really lively. He always does things that that's not expected. So sometimes when Keen Lynch is saying, his man expects him to go this way. And very often what he does is he just takes steps out, but he's gone this way. Okay, so just trying that now again. Okay, pretend you're going one way, but going another way. So I'm pretending I'm going this way, but I'm going to go this way. Okay, I'm pretending I'm going that way, but I'm going this way. Okay. Good work, good stuff. Really good. Okay, we're gone. We're gone to the end of time. So the last one we'll do is we're trying to do no catching. How long can I go? Okay. That's it. That's me done. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, look forward to seeing you all out in the field and at cool caps during the summer. And uh, well done to everybody. And mind yourselves and your family. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.